Hey, what is going on guys? It is your boy King Superior aka The Delay God and I'm back with another video. Now today, I got y'all with the Ultimate Dribble Tutorial Part 2. Now if we get 400 likes on this video, I will bring a Part 3 for you guys man. I will bring the Ultimate Dribble Tutorial Part 3 if we get 400 likes on this video man. Now this tutorial is going to be a bit more advanced than the first one. The first one was more targeted, targeted for beginners. You know what I'm saying? This one is going to be a little bit more advanced. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, y'all, let's jump right into this dribble tutorial, bro. 400 likes, man. I got y'all with a part three. Let's jump right into this thing, bro. All right, so the first dribble move I'm going to show you guys is the momentum spam. Now, the momentum spam is a little bit different from NBA 2K19, 18, 17, and 16. You know what I'm saying? Now, I previously made a video on the momentum spam saying that it was patched and nerfed, which it was. But I thought the move was completely removed from the game. Turns out this move only triggers when you have the right animations on. Now if you try the momentum spam with the wrong animations on, he's just gonna do a momentum cross and then your player is just gonna run off and he's gonna be hard to control after you do that. He's just gonna do his own stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be really hard to control him if you don't have the right animations on. Now in this first clip of me momentum spamming, I have the Kobe Bryant size up package on. Now if you want the momentum spam to be extremely fast, you need to equip either the Allen Iverson size up package or the Pro 4 size up package. If you equip either of those, he will be able to momentum spam really really fast. Now after I tell you guys how to momentum spam, I will have a side by side clip of me momentum spamming with the Kobe Bryant size up and the Allen Iverson size up. So you can compare them and you can decide which one you want. The Allen Iverson is faster though, but I will have a side by clip just so you can decide which ones you want, okay? Now, let me tell you guys how to do the actual momentum spam. Now this year, when you're doing anything momentum, you need to make sure you're holding the right trigger or RT, whichever console you're on, the entire time you're doing the animation, okay? So let's say the ball is in your right hands, what you're gonna do is hold RT or R2, whichever console you're on, then you're gonna flick the right stick to the left. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Okay? Let's say the ball is in your left hands. You're gonna flick the right stick to the right. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right while holding RT or R2 the entire time you're doing the animation. Right when you're about to begin the animation, hold RT or R2, okay? Let me explain it one more time. The ball is in your right hands, all right? You're gonna make sure you're holding RT or R2. Then you're gonna flick the right stick to the left. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. This year, you have to make sure you push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left or right, whichever way your momentum are crossing to, okay? In previous years, last year, 18, 17, 16, you could push it directly to the sides and you would be able to perform the momentum cross. This year, you have to bro, you have to make sure you push it diagonally upwards either to the right or left. You have to, there's no if, but or maybes, you have to do it like that this year. You also have to make sure you're holding RT the entire time. Previous years, you were able to release RT after you flick the right stick. This year, you have to make sure you're holding RT the entire time. So those are two things that changed this year and you have to make sure you're doing to perform the momentum anything momentum making sure you're holding rt and pushing the lesson diagonally either upwards to the left or right all right so once you get that out of the way all you have to do is continuously spam it up over and over once you momentum cross the left you just spam it back to the right spam it back to the left it's pretty easy okay now that's out of the way Alright, so the second move I'm going to show you guys is the hesitation explosive behind the back spin, alright? Let's say the ball is in your right hands, what you're going to do is you're going to be dribbling up the court, you're going to flick the right stick to the right. Once he does that hesitation, what you're going to do is flick the right stick down. Once he puts the ball behind his back and it goes into his left hands, you're going to rotate the right stick counterclockwise, alright? Let me repeat that one more time. The ball is in your right hands, you're dribbling up the court. What you're gonna do is make sure you release R2 as well. I didn't say that the first time. Make sure you release R2 or RT, whichever console you're on. Flick the right stick to the right. Once he does that hesitation, you're gonna flick the right stick down so he can do the explosive behind the back. 
Once he puts the ball over to his left hand, what you're gonna do is rotate the right stick counterclockwise, okay? The controls will be on screen. Let's say the ball is in your left hand this time, you're dribbling up the court, make sure you release R2 or RT, okay? Or else he's not gonna do the hesitation. The ball is in your left hand, you're gonna flick the right stick to the left. Once he does that hesitation, you're gonna flick the right stick downwards. Once the ball goes over to his right hand, what you're gonna do is rotate the right stick clockwise. Pretty, pretty simple. And you could also finish it off with a, with a between the legs like you see me doing the tutorial, you know what I'm saying? The between the legs is optional. You don't have to do that part, but it's up to you. The controls is on screen. You can follow that if you want, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just showing you the basic, the uh, hesitation, explosive behind the back spin. Like I said, you can finish it off with the between the legs if you want, all right? All right, so you could also perform this move by flicking the right stick up rather than flicking it to the sides. If you're gonna flick it up, you could do it with the ball in either hands, okay? So let's say the ball is in your right hands. What you're gonna do is flick the right stick up. Once he does that hesitation, you're gonna flick the right stick down. Once he puts the ball over to his left hands, what you're gonna do is rotate the right stick counterclockwise. If the ball is in your left hands, you're gonna flick the right stick up. Once he does the hesitation, you're gonna flick the right stick down. Once he puts the ball over to his right hand, what you're going to do is rotate the uh, right stick clockwise. It's really that simple. Alright, so the next move I'm going to show you guys is the Sham God. Now, a lot of people ask me how to do the Sham God, and the Sham God is actually a pretty, pretty easy move. Someone also asked me what's the best thing about the Kyrie Irving dribble style that I use, and the answer is the Sham God, you know what I'm saying? So, if you're watching this video... Here we go. This is this this is the answer to your question. The Kyrie Irving dribble style, the Sham God is the best thing about it. Now, uh, you could either do the Sham God standing or driving. You know what I'm saying? Sprinting on a fast break or whatever. You could do the Sham God at any given time. Okay? Um, how to perform the Sham the exact Sham God that I'm doing is making sure you have the Kyrie Irving dribble style equipped. Now, I'm not sure. Well, you can you can do the sham god with different dribble styles but the one that i'm using is a Kyrie irving one okay so let's say the ball is in your right hand this is for the standing one right the ball is in your right hand what you're going to do is flick the right stick to the right then flick it back to the left it's that simple that is exactly how you do the sham god it's really that simple bro if the ball is in your left hands what you're going to do is flick the right stick to the left and then flick it back to the right and you got the sham god you see how simple that is really really simple but a lot of people don't know it's really that simple now if you're on a fast break you could also perform the sham god now you could be holding the right trigger or you could release the right trigger either way you're still going to do the sham god if you're sprinting on, on fast break and the ball is in your right hands what you're going to do is flick the right stick to the right and then just flick it back to the left if you're sprinting on fast break the ball is in your left hands you're going to flick the right stick to the left and then back to the right really really that simple the sham god is so simple and very underrated now what i usually do with the sham god is i hit the i hit them with the kobe bryant size of speed boost that i showed you guys in the previous dribble tutorial i hit them with the kobe speed boost blow by them and then a lot of times the center will step up to help the very moment i see the center stepping up i hit the sham god and a lot of times i either get an ankle breaker or i just slip by him and i'm wide open for a layup so you could combine the two. If you don't know how to do the Kobe Bryant uh, speed boost, you can watch my previous dribble tutorial. Hit them with the Kobe Bryant speed boost. And as soon as you blow by your defender, just hit the sham guard. If the center comes up to help, hit the sham guard. Even if he doesn't come up to help, you can still hit the sham guard. And he gives you extra space to make an easy layup, bro. All right? All right, so the next move I'm going to show you guys is the NBA 2K20 momentum behind the back. Now, the momentum behind the back that we knew over the years... NBA 2K19, 18, 17, 16, that momentum behind the back that we all know is no longer in the game. It has been removed. It is patched completely. It is not in the game anymore. But there is a newer momentum behind the back and it might be even more explosive. Okay? So basically what it is is the momentum cross with the explosive behind the back. You're chaining it together. Now this move right here is the hardest jump move in this entire tutorial which is exactly why I saved it for last. So I need you guys to really pay attention to this move, okay? Listen to me carefully. I will have the controls on screen. You need to listen to me and look at the controls on screen. If you're an advanced dribbler, it might not be that hard for you, 
but if you're a beginner dribbler, it will be hard for you, okay? The controls are on screen, you might look at the controls and be like, oh, it's easy, but to actually perform it yourself, it will be a little tougher than what it looks like, okay? So listen to me carefully. We're gonna start. Let's say the ball is in your left hands, okay? What you're gonna do is make sure you hold RT, and for this, throughout the entire animation, do not release RT. You have to hold RT throughout the entire combo, okay? So let's say the ball is in your left hands. What you're gonna do is you're gonna flick the right stick to the right. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right so he can do the momentum cross. As soon as he does the momentum cross, what you're gonna do is flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the left and push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left, okay? I'm gonna repeat that one more time. Let's say the ball is in your left hands. What you're gonna do is make sure you're holding RT. Flick the right stick to the right then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right. Then once you're done doing the momentum across, you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the left and push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Okay, let's say the ball is in your right hands this time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold RT, flick the right stick to the left, then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. And then you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the right. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right, okay? The controls will be on screen. I'm gonna repeat this one last time, okay? The ball is in your right hands. You're gonna hold RT or R2, whichever console you're on, and make sure you're holding RT throughout the entire animation. The ball is in your right hands. You're gonna flick the right stick to the left. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the left. Then you're gonna flick the right stick diagonally downwards to the right. Then you're gonna push the left stick diagonally upwards to the right. And that right there should give you the NBA 2K20 momentum explosive behind the back. All right, so like I said, this should move right here is the hardest should move in this tutorial, which is exactly why I saved it for last, like I said. Now, I need you guys to know one thing, for a lot of you who are now learning to dribble, the key to becoming a good dribbler is just taking your time, okay? Now I know a lot of you think that you suck at dribbling, like, oh my gosh, I suck at dribble. Listen to me, bro. In 2K16, in the beginning of NBA 2K17, I was an awful dribbler. I could not dribble. And the main reason for that was I was trying to rush all my combos. I would see other good dribblers, and I was trying to do these combos at the same speed as them listening listen to me bro you're now learning bro don't even try to do the combos fast and a lot of times when you see people comboing really fast they're really not flicking their sticks that fast to be honest like that's just what it looks like on the game but they're really not even flicking it that fast and that's what i had to learn when i became a good dribbler or a better dribbler that's when i realized it's only on the game it looks that fast. You're really not flicking it that fast. So don't ever try to match the game speed of your favorite YouTuber. They're not flicking it as fast as the game is showing it. I'm telling you that right now. The combos look faster because it's a ball and it's constantly moving on the game. But they're really not flicking the sticks as fast as it seems. So just slow down and take your time. The day I did that was the day I started to become a good dribbler. Just slow down, take your time and dribble. If you have to look down at your controller, then do that. Cause I had to do that too when I was becoming a uh, when I was now learning to dribble. I had to look down on my controller as I dribble. You know, like when you're now learning to dribble the basketball in real life, you'd be looking down a lot. That's exactly what I had to do on my controller. So if that's what you need to do, do it. Look down on your controller, shake your time, and you will become a better dribbler. Better dribbler, I promise you. Alright? Anyways, y'all, I hope this video did help you guys out. hope these combos did help you guys out. If it did, be sure to drop a like on this video. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Hey, like I said, if this video gets 400 likes, I will drop the Ultimate Dribble Tutorial Part 3 for you guys, man. Once again, my name is King Superior. Hopefully, this video did help you guys out, man. And I will holler at you guys later, man. Peace.